Hello, welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Picking up right where we left off. We're still in the catacombs. I still have a dragon head, which means I didn't die, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, we uh, we just got the Great Scythe, and we ended up taking a fall through here. Um, I do kind of want to showcase the whole level properly, so I might... If, if we continued on, we would have pressed on back this way, so I'm going to try to fall back and see if I can get back to where we jumped off. Just in case I missed anything. But yeah, this is where we're going to be taking a beating. Uh, oh well. Completely misjudged that. I think I'm still used to the spacing for the Black Knight Sword. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Not really, though. Yeah, this is uh, pretty straightforward. We just <laughs> smack, smack, smack. Yeah, these guys are not getting their parries, thankfully. Because I should have been punished a few times by now. Uh, yeah, and th they'll only drop whatever weapon they're using, so you can get scimitars and falchions if you uh, if you need one. But they're both starting weapons anyway, so if you want, if you really wanted it early on, you could have just picked the class that starts with it. Um, yeah, come in this way. Uh, this is actually a hidden wall, but something already broke it down, which is interesting. Um, which does mean that, yeah, uh, enemies can break hidden walls. Fun fact. Now, I think this is... Yeah, okay, here's where we were. This was the uh, <laughs> spiky bridge. Um, there was another shortcut if we go back down there, which will take us way to the bottom. So I'm not going to do that. But anyway, right here. Let's go through that hidden wall area. Sounds weird. Oh, yeah, okay, this part <laughs> is kind of annoying. Because there's, of course, the uh, archer right there, and another one up there. So let's just see what we can do here. And we fell. Yep, just keep on smacking, and everything will be okay. So let's see, uh, there's a ladder back up and out. I think we want to go this way. Oh, hello. And this guy is glitched. Um, he's supposed to fall with those bricks, but he falls first and then the ceiling breaks. Just to get you, get the spook on you. So right here is the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Um, this is an interesting slash important ring. Uh, exactly what it does is a grants an additional attunement slot, right? So if we wanted to use a fourth spell, we could put this on. It does serve a second purpose, though, in a very special area, which uh, we will eventually revisit. Um, before we do that, though, that's that's in a whole separate area, though. Um, just keep in mind that if you're trying to do that, you have to come here to get that seance ring. Um, now, do we go this way? It should take us to a special treasure as well. Oh, another these guys. And then just keep smacking, keep smacking. Okay. Um, so this goes back down here. Um, oh, yes, right here. We want to climb up here. And this will get us a very nice treasure. A treasure that we actually were looking for a few episodes ago. Um... And I believe it's around here somewhere. Right here. Uh, Tranquil Walk of Peace. Oh, okay, actually, that's, uh, it's not the one that I was thinking of. Um, Tranquil Walk of Peace is actually the spell that those stone giants in Dark Root Garden cast. Um, yes, so we actually have the ability to do that as well. Um, and the way that works, as a reminder, is you cast it, and then anybody nearby will get slowed down. Um, but yeah, this takes us back. Um, oh, this is back at the uh, at the beginning. Oh, I guess I haven't rested at a bonfire yet. Oh, I think I only lit the bonfire, didn't I? I didn't rest at it. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna go continue onwards then. Um, I did forget to buy any more homeward bones, which I'm really not happy about. So, uh, yeah, this actually sits us back a bit. Thankfully, we can actually use some of those shortcuts now, because if I go here. Look, I'm where I want to be. <laughs> I'm at the bonfire. 
so I'm gonna go do that. Because if I die, I do not feel like I'm gonna do this whole place again. Get some Estus while we're at it as well, and yeah, we're not close to a level up, so I'm not even gonna mess with that. Plus, I'd like to hold on to some souls once we get to the bottom. Ow. One thing I really think is unfair about the spikes is that uh, if they're already out and you walk into them, you still take as much damage. Um, okay, actually, let's go down the shortcut way so we don't have to run through there. Um, but yeah, it's like what I mean is like if I. Oh! Well. <laughs> Um, that's why I rested at the bonfire. <laughs> um, ooh, and our dragon head is gone. With that. Yeah. Well, it was good while it lasted. Um, but let's go back to our night helmet, right? Looks, looks a lot better, yes. Um, why we wanted some sort of nodding emoji, but I don't think there is one. Either way, uh, the good news is our souls should be right here. Yep. Nice and easy recovery. There we go, two humanity. Um, ooh, hello. I think there's a lot of that in this level, is just you'll be minding your own business and then just a skeleton will just pop up out of nowhere. Alright, there we go. Make the jump this time. Um, do I want to press on? Down, down, down. Uh, oh, actually, that's where we were before. Now that I just remembered. Yeah, now let's go back this way. Um, yeah, so. To sort of recap, we went up that way. That's where the bridge takes us. And we'll go. That's where we found Trinket Walk of Peace. So I think now we can just press onwards. Um, so for here, I am going to put the uh, Black Knight Sword back on for a second here. Because we've got a little uh, mini boss to fight. Something we have faced before. A Titanite Demon, except now we're in a very close quarters, so I'm better. <laughs> I hate these guys. Alright, uh, the good news is we can get back here pretty quickly, and our soul, we probably died so quickly that we can get our souls in front of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just uh, run over there, and hope we don't miss this jump. Because if we do, then we lose ourselves. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> I think I just got psyched out because um, I'm still traumatized from how the fight went with uh, the Isolith <laughs> type my demon. Um, but yeah, we are gonna come back in here. Pay attention to this one. Or, I don't know if it's that one. Uh, one of these ones will be going back to. Uh, coffins, that is. Might be this one, actually. So, first, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's, okay, well, off to a great start. Great start. Okay, oh no. Alright, how about this? Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, wow, this is actually doing work. Ooh. Okay, I might be able to close this out here with just Iron Nancy. Ow! Lightning hurts. But yeah, he's already almost dead. This is, I think this is the way to do it. Ooh. Ah. Wow, we did not get pancaked. Ah. <laughs> Okay, I think one more will do it. And there we go. Easy peasy. Um, not easy peasy though, because <laughs> we died, of course. But, um, yeah. With that, we can go back to our dandy dandy mace. Our morning star, rather. The mace is its own separate weapon. Um, we just have to do the titanite. Cool. So, up ahead, we're going to find ourselves. An eye of death. Now, what this is, um, let's see what the description because I'm not entirely sure exactly. Lures Phantoms of Other Worlds. Um, 
essentially it's the it's the item for a certain covenant which we're gonna learn more about in a second here but once you pick up those eyes of death because you need one in your inventory um, you can come up to this coffin and lay down in it and if you wait for a bit as we pretend we're dead just sleeping um, something will happen soon eyes of death by the way they get dropped by the basilisks which are those frogs that curse us so um, in case you throw those out by accident or somehow don't get them um, you can just farm them to get some and this does take a minute here don't know exactly how long oh Now we're in the Tomb of the Giants. Um, pay attention to this area, by the way, because we'll be seeing it again down the road. Um, that would be really creepy, by the way, if you just hanging out in a coffin and then suddenly a skeleton comes and just drags you away. So yeah, we're here in some mysterious cave. And right here is the uh, Grave Lord himself. Uh, yeah, this is Nito. Um, this is him in his natural habitat. If we come here using the coffin method, it allows us to join his covenant. Which uh, is what we're going to do. And with that, we are now a Gravelord. We got ourselves, and just for joining, we got the Gravelord sword and the Gravelord sword dance. So this is also a um, an area that you want to come to early on to possibly get an awesome weapon and miracle um so yeah this is where you can offer eyes of death as your devotion thing um and then that'll rank you up i think there's like a stronger version of the miracle i'm not sure what else you get in this covenant but um it's another pvp one uh the way grave lords work exactly um i'm not sure if i've talked about them but they're a complicated covenant they're there's like this one other covenant which we'll get to but their job is to invade players who um who have been quote unquote evil and um, those get marked by indicting them and now we're down a whole rabbit hole here <laughs> but pretty much the grave lords they lure people they lure those blue invaders into their worlds to fight them instead um almost like setting a trap you can think of it as but then by the end of the day it's just standard pvp dark souls pvp so um that's that and then um i think there's other mechanics too like they can somehow make stronger enemies spawn in your world um, but I think that's only in New Game Plus. Yeah. Again, uh, I should know these things, but <laughs> I don't actually do too much online stuff with Dark Souls. I'm more of just like the player versus environment kind of deal. But I know a few things. Um, oh, I didn't talk about uh, the Dragon Covenant, by the way. Let's see cuts and finish first. So we carry on like normal. The whole thing could have been a dream, probably no. Um, but anyway, the uh, the Dragon Covenant, yes, to quickly touch on how that works. Um, it's Whereas most covenants involve some sort of trickery and messing around with other people, um, the Dragon Covenant is cool because it's one of the most like sort of neutral, just we're here to duel kind of things. All it is is that you place down your special dragon summoning sign and uh, other dragons can see them and then you just have a friendly duel. Uh, no invasions, no insanity. You just uh, fight each other. And then the winner gets a dragon scale, I think. So yeah, pretty cool covenant. Um, okay, these guys are going to be really annoying. 
Because they're just going to keep falling down. Oh well. It's also one of my biggest complaints is that the iframes are just never clear sometimes. And you'll just smack someone right in their face, but the game just decides. Oh yeah, we're not going to register that. Um, so anyway, oh yeah, be careful here. Uh, if you drop down there, you're going to have a tough fight on you. Um, we may actually want to do that though, because. And I may also switch to, uh, back to Black Knight Sword. Because I think uh, we might have actually gotten all the Necromancers at this point. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, we're going to want our Black Knight Sword soon. Because we're here. Um, oh, there's another Necromancer. Let's just, yeah, take him out one, too. Okay, so that's probably the last necromancer of the area. Um, and, ooh, so we get our short bow, and yes, we got a skull lantern. Okay, so that's gonna be good for the next area. Um, I will talk more about that. But skull lantern is something you're not guaranteed, but that you uh, will come in really handy. <laughs> so um, let's go back up here. Uh, the way out there, I just I wanted to see. That'll take us right to the outside ground floor. Whereas I want to drop down here first, and we're gonna want to be on high alert because yeah, thankfully we're not dead. But yeah, there's a here's a black knight, and this is a kind we haven't seen yet. He's using the great axe, which is an interesting weapon. Now we have to be really careful because I think the halberd might do a little more damage, but these guys do a lot. Okay, and he's like missing his attacks. All right, that was pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, but he's more annoying because you'll just drop down. I knew he was here, and he still got me. And if you don't know he's here, especially if you don't have later game armor like I do, you're going to potentially just get one shot by him, <laughs> which can be very frustrating. And I also wanted to um, meet him here, though, because over there is where we would have come from. But... Uh, I just realized I missed some loot over there. Not exactly sure how I would get back up. But anyway, oh, oh ooh, I do want to go over there though. No, oh, but I don't have homeward bones. Okay. Um, hmm. This is a mono. Oh, plus I have to. Okay. This is bad. I might have to dark sign. Ah, uh, shoot. I really wish I had a lot of homeward bones. Oh. Okay, uh, down below us, by the way, are the bone wheels which are a very infamous enemy. So we're going to take him out the best we can. Now... Okay, yeah. I just realized, yeah. Okay, first of all... Right here. Ah! Bone wheel. No. Bad. <laughs> um, yeah, as you can hear... Sounds like a blacksmith, yes. Ah, another phone wheel. Okay, so we're learning why these guys kind of suck. Um, anyway, let's uh, here, let's dark sign here, because I'm going to bet that we're going to be able to buy some homeward bones in a second. <gasps> I have homeward bone. Okay, maybe I'll use it. Okay, let me, let me think for a second here. Um, yeah, let's, let's use the homeward bone now. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to try to drop down. Now, so that'll take us back here. Um, I do want to reverse my hauling. Okay, so there's two things. I may have to warp back, but first we're going to go investigate the sounds of that hammer. Gets me every time. <laughs> that specific one. Um, so anyway, we want to go back to where we got the great site. This like general area. Because if we go here and here, and then I believe so dropping down here, that takes us outside. Yes. So no, where we want to go is over here. And come out this way. Okay. Now we were here before, but we continue down here. Oh, that's right, yeah. So I looked down here and I just said, nah. But it's actually possible to, uh... So I, can, I can't really see it. Oh, hello. <laughs> there is a spot where you can jump and land on 
It's a little hard to tell, but I think you want to sort of aim forward a bit. Oh, wow. We just barely made it on. Um, but yeah, let's do the same thing here. Yeah, they put that rock there specifically so that way it'll, like, potentially get in your way. So here's a green Titanite shard. Um, it's very tactical. The rush of what you do, by the way, if you get here early, is you make a way, you make your way to that green Titanite shard. And then you come down here. And then normally you do this part second after you kill the boss. So, as we can tell, he's not an enemy. This takes us to where we just were. And now... Here is the final blacksmith. Hmm. Why? Is that an ember from New Londo? And a fine ember it be. What do you say? Why not leave it with me? I'll give you a flame to feast your eyes upon. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give him that flame member. Now, that was actually a, if you notice, he said it's from New Londo. Uh, that was a, that was an oversight from the developers. Um, originally, this flame would have been found there, or you would have given him, given him the other ember that's found in New Londo. Um, either way, it's just a little mistake. Um, this is the one that we found in Lost Eyes of Blue. Yeah, Vamos is a very uh, thick skeleton, as you can tell. Exactly what he was before he was a skeleton. Um, my idea is that he was one of those like green guys in Blight Town, whatever they are. Um, and yes, he's a lot of bones. Okay, let's uh, let's just stack up on these. Get like 15 or so. Um, he also sells Titanite shards and arrows, so he doesn't actually sell too much. Um, so I think I may as well actually just stack up on bones. Um, but he can modify his stuff. He, this is how you get fire weapons. Um, the flame that we gave was for advanced fire weapons. But we can also give him the other ember that we got. Which is the um hmm. Why, that's an ember unlike any that I have seen. A very curious pattern. Could it be the flame of the legendary witch? I know. Suppose you left that ember with me. Old Vamos would never let you down. No, not ever. <laughs> All right, now with that, he can now make chaos weapons. And so with chaos, you take your flame weapon, you take it to plus five, and instead of ascending it to fire plus six, you do it to chaos plus one. And then a fully upgraded chaos weapon is just chaos plus five. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is the fire blacksmith, and that's where we get those final embers too. So. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need from him in particular, but let's see what else he has to say. I'm here to smith, not to chit -chat. So yeah, he's a he's another simple guy. Um, well, what was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. And yeah, like always, he'll be grumpy if you don't actually use his services. But oh no, I like his design. I really like the uh, lava-filled coffins here. <laughs> um, he's also got an interesting voice. Ooh, there is a bonfire here. I forgot about this. Um, ooh, do I want to rest at this, though? I don't think I do, because I do want to, uh, we still gotta drop down for one more thing. Um, so I am gonna warp back. Ooh, that's right. Let's actually put our homeward bones back on. Yeah, if you run out of an item, it gets taken off your hotbar, which is a little annoying, but not really a big deal. So let's do this. Just one last thing we gotta do. And then hopefully the boss fight goes smoothly. 
Now, I don't know exactly where to go, but we do have to drop down to get to this final area every time, every time. Um, just sort of, okay, there's that one that's going to drop down on us. But I'm trying to look first where we want to go, and I don't see anything. Alright, no problem. I think it's more over there anyway. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going to want to drop down at least over here, I think. Back down this way. This is here. And then I think around here somewhere is where we drop down. Watch out for those, of course. Just get these to explode. Okay, and I think those heads do keep respawning, so just <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, we want to drop down there. Aha, yeah, right here. Then just roll there real quick. So let's heal up. Uh, right here, you're going to find a large soul of a nameless soldier. And here is Summon Sign for Paladin Leroy, who's a pretty cool character. He's got a very thick club, as you can see. Um, he's an interesting character. Um, and I'm going to just drop down here to get this item. Careful, because if you go too far, then you'll overshoot it. And here you get the preset and the mace. Oh, there's the mace proper. Okay, so let's start clearing out some of these skeletons here. Now watch out, because the bone wheels, the danger of the bone wheels, like most enemies, are when there's a lot of them and they swarm you. And you also be careful, because when they're up on the wall like that, you might hurt yourself. Try not to go up too close to them. But um, yeah, hopefully that's that for that. The boss will be this way. And um... This is a, uh, I know I say this for a lot of bosses, but this is a very unique boss <laughs> because he's uh, one of the weakest bosses, actually, as you'll see soon enough. Just take this thing out. Okay. Let's uh, traverse the white light and see what we got. And the fight doesn't actually start until we jump on in. So I will be quiet for this cutscene. This is Pinwheel. Um, as you can see, he's a creepy necromancer. Oh no, he can clone himself. He must be so dangerous. And oh, look, look how much damage I already did. Watch out for the fire, and Paladin Leroy is. and he finished the fight. Alright, guys, that was Pinwheel. <laughs> like I said, one of the easiest bosses in the game. Yeah, that's. okay, he's even easy if you come here and rush him. Um, but yeah, we're coming here at this point in the game, and he just, he doesn't stand a chance. Um, now, he will drop one of his masks. Let's see what we got. We got the mask of the mother. Um, I think that's the most common one. If you're lucky, you'll get the father. If you're really lucky, you'll get the child. Um, but, in the, like, they're nothing too special. So, either way, let's, uh, continue onwards and wrap this episode up. Um, we've now officially completed the catacombs, and we're on to the next area. Which, uh, that's right, there's not a bonfire, so we gotta just sort of, as you can see, it's a little, it's a little dark, <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna have to brave through, and, um, yeah, we're, so this, this area really puts the dark in Dark Souls, um, but yeah, we're gonna tackle that next time, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, appreciate it, had a lot of fun, hope you guys did too, and, uh, yeah, have a good one.